And all the reckless things that we do Keep us young, they're good signs, they're good signs Take a little more if you need it Voices of the night won't mislead it The tide pulls me in but it takes slow Here's to the nights we let go And I'm hoping that they figure out It's all about the scenery along the route No fears and no problems These moments are so kind, are so kind Today is January 1st of 2019 and we woke up this morning. First we had fun last night. Um, I actually had two subscribers from my channel come up to me at the bar we were at. We were in Costa Rica and I'm from Ohio and they recognized me and it was pretty crazy but I did get um, clips with them and I put it in yesterday's video so if you're interested in that go check it out. Um, we went we woke up this morning and went to a little market to get some snacks for the day and we just finished breakfast. We are at our hotel still. Um, we have a fun day planned. We are going to start just chilling here for a little bit, getting ready. Um, we got to sleep in until like 10, so it was really nice. Very really nice, yeah. Um, and then we are getting ready to go zip lining now. So super excited for today and Mm. Yeah. It should, should be a fun day. Yep, so we will see you guys in a bit. See you later. We are on our way to the bus right now. Um, we got ready. A tip that they told us, just like packing wise for zip lining, is wear all black, wear pants that go past your knees, um, gym shoes, and you have to pull your hair back also. So if you're considering taking this particular trip or a trip with zip lining in general, like I wish I would have known that before getting here. Luckily I have it all, but if I didn't, we're on our way. Look, guys, isn't that so cool? There's two of them. <gasps> There's another one. What are those that one's huge. called? A parrot. A parrot? <laughs> wow. One right there. What are those birds called? Well, I mean, I recognize them. I just don't know. I think there's two of them. Wow. Yeah. Nicole's? Okay. Hot parrots. <laughs> wow, so neat. They have arrived. And we just signed waivers and are waiting to get our harnesses on. Uh, we weren't allowed to bring phones or anything except for GoPros because they can clip on the helmet. But because I'm just going to clip it and I can't like confirm that you can see anything with my phone because I don't have it. Um, we're just hoping for the best that you can see what's going on. Um, I'm really excited but no promises on how this footage is going to go. But let's start the montage.
just got done ziplining and oh my gosh, that was probably one of the coolest things that I have ever done in my entire life. Um, I did a video, I think it was a few months ago, maybe last year, that obviously last year, today's New Year's Day, um, that like I listed the five best experiences I've ever had in my entire life. And I think this makes it into like that group of five because it was so cool. So 10 out of 10 would recommend I'm gonna ask David his opinion also because he's afraid of heights and he went and did it anyway. <laughs> would you recommend it? 100% would recommend it. 100% even though you're scared? 100%. Yeah. Yeah? The views are too nice to not go on it. It's gorgeous. David's very um, nervous about being up high and it was just absolutely gorgeous like 100% loved it it's worth every penny where you, like, where you see like a Facebook ad that says like you need to go to Switzerland or something for the views something like that yeah the views were just incredible so now we're going to the restaurant and hit my face with the branch <laughs> uh, we're going to this restaurant right now just to get a little bit of uh, maybe some snacks we're still at the place they have it here but we don't have time in the itinerary for lunch today so we're just gonna see what we can pick up. <laughs> okay guys, often out of lunch here because I don't think I'll like any of it, um, but we do have snacks from going to the market this morning and we're just gonna eat those on the bus. Uh, right now, we are going to be on our way to, um, I think he calls it a local exchange. He has um, like local people coming and meeting with us at this park. So we can like talk with them people can practice their spanish uh, i guess there's going to be like a place to play soccer and um maybe like playing guitar for like music to listen to and stuff so that should be pretty fun um but that's what we're on our way to now right there hey guys ali look out the window soccer um, and then we're gonna go on a little hike later after we hang out here for a bit and then um, I think he mentioned a bonfire so I will keep you updated for what we figure out here but it should be really fun honest with you and say that this was something that I was not looking forward to. I didn't think it would be fun. I thought going to a park and hanging out with locals and playing soccer like that just didn't sound very much up my alley but I had such a good time like we got to go um, you know it's now January and in Ohio occasionally we'll have snow in January not always but a lot of times we'll have snow in January and um <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> i'll get back to you in a second 
Um, it's so weird because we have a lot of other vloggers on this trip, so we get to see like <laughs> different perspectives of it. And I've never She's been on a trip attack. with other vloggers. Hello, hey! <laughs> vlogception. That's what they always say. Yeah, vlogception. I saw you down here, and I was sitting here. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go bother. Her. So, we'll probably okay. edit. So I was like, I'll see what you're doing. But um, hi, you would you like about? to introduce your channel? Hello, I'm Blake. My channel is Blake W. DeLuca. I vlog every day. That's about all. Yay! So, <laughs> Follow me, it'll be funny. <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing another perspective of this exact same trip, um, we're going to probably have very different views just yeah. because we're two different people and have two different styles of vlogging. We actually, How many vloggers do we have? Three actual vloggers. There's a lot of people just filming the trip to see how it turns out. Um, if, yeah, if you haven't been on this trip, I would go. Very yeah. beautiful. I would absolutely recommend it. I've never been anywhere tropical and I wasn't too pumped about it, but I really am enjoying it so far. Even missing the first two days, I think it's been worth it. All right, I'll link his channel down below. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you But yeah, it'll be really neat to see all the different perspectives. But anyway, as I was saying, I wasn't very excited to like come and do this particular event because like, I guess it was designed to like meet people and practice your Spanish. I don't know Spanish. Um, I've never taken a Spanish class. It's always been English and German for me. So I don't know any Spanish and I wasn't too excited because I don't play soccer. I don't play volleyball. I don't really do any of that. I run. Um, but it has been so cool because like you may not understand each other. They only speak Spanish and I only speak English, but like we can do like facial expressions and hand motions and still communicate and be able to have a good time. Um, it was so fun. We did like the a tightrope kind of walk thing and then since it's January this is where I was before since it's January we go sledding because it's snow in the states um, not all of them but some of them Christmas time you know sledding they don't have snow here and so they have this hill set up this grassy hill where you can just go and slide down on these homemade sleds that they have and they like we had um, like little like local boys like teach us how to do it and go with us and it was so much fun and I really enjoyed it we just sat on the top of this big hill and looked at this gorgeous scenery here like and we started watching the sunset and it was just so nice so I would absolutely say like even if you're hesitant on something you should really just go out and like why not you know no expectations and just really absolutely so yeah that's it for this little rant um, I'm going to go back and have fun with people. <laughs> for today here um, I think like three-fourths of the group went on an optional excursion to walk through the forest and try to see animals at night um, after everything that happened with my mom I really don't want to be in the woods at night so I'm opting out and I'm here I'm about to shower and then we'll go eat later for dinner but I'm gonna end the vlog here because that was enough fun for one day for you guys <laughs> Um, so remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and push the little notification bell so you don't miss tomorrow's videos. Tomorrow we are going on hanging bridges and a crocodile tour. So I think that'll be super fun. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye!